right, today we're going to be exchanging both fuel filters on a 2008 210 uh, with the 5.7 liter. This will be the same as a 07 to 2010 Nautique. Uh, and we're going to do the fuel control cell and the inline filter. So we'll start out with the fuel control cell. And on a couple different year boats, they are in different different areas, but this right here is the fuel control cell. Um, as we get the catalyst systems, which are here and here, sometimes they move this fuel, uh, the high pressure pump and the low pressure pump and the fuel filter up to here. So depending on your model, it might be in a different location. But I'm gonna pull this back panel off. And what we're looking for up here is a pair of hand knobs. That looks like that. They're all the way up towards the deck. It's about right here. If you do it right, then you always drop them. find that here in a minute. 7 sixteenths on a ratchet. Come over here, Andrew. So right here is a, is a 7 sixteenths and what we're going to do is remove this the collar on the top. fitting put in there it holds it tight Now this canister is full of fuel and we're going to separate the bottom silver piece from the top. You might let me get over here this section not a bit, unless you have good spot. So have a big container. We're going to try to catch 90% of the fuel. dimension it always helps to unhook the fuel pump which is back here Fuel out of here. Spill it all over the place. You can take a screwdriver also, but pick works. But all we're trying to do is down at the bottom here is the fuel filter. And for some reason, every time Sometimes it's easier just to do it with your fingers. 
So there's the fuel filter. So it should be clicked on the bottom of this and I'll show you how to install it. So pull the fuel filter out, dispose of it. Also here at the top, this is the important part, is there's a pair of filters, filters, O-rings. One, two, and in your FCC is, <clears throat> there's three O-rings. The two that we took off, and then the big one. This uh, big O-ring goes from the 97 model, 98 model, eh, 97, to um, 06, I believe, uh, which was a screw-on canister. So we're gonna take these two, discard the other one. Up, put on the top ring. Feel all the way around, make sure it feels good. It's in that groove. There's two grooves in there. Mm. Helps if you go around the fuel filter. Thanks Andrew for not pointing that out to me. It's in both grooves, awesome. With a little bit of fuel, rub it on there. Plastic wrap up your fuel filter. Make the paper out of it. Take the fuel filter. Put them on there. Let me pull this out and show you under here. The bottom, you'll see a rubber, rubber O-ring groove, what you will. And it attaches to the bottom of the fuel pump. So you push it up here. Let's see if we can hear it make a noise. It doesn't really make a noise. But you can tell that it falls on there. Or it doesn't fall off, if you will. The trick part is to get this all mine back up on there. Don't want to have that just on the groove here until we get it slid up, but sometimes it helps to get it in position instead of battling it later. Slide it up. <clears throat> so it's all the way up. The band, which is now stuck behind there, Put it up.
you'll know that you're in the right spot and everything's lined up. You push this canister up as far as it'll go. And then the band, just half on the silver lower canister and half on the top, lines back up and we'll ride in this groove. There we go. All right, very last thing. Always gotta remember this, plug your fuel pump back in. Nothing more frustrating than your boat won't start once you plug it. Tilt it right there. There you go. All right, that is the high pressure pump. So now we are going to do the inline fuel filter. So we have to pull the floor up for this. Now this is specific to up to two uh, when those years I was speaking of. of 07 to 2010. 2011, we got a bigger canister that's mounted here, and then in later years, they move it to the back of the boat. But I'm just gonna take out the floor. Once you know where this is, sometimes it's, you can actually access the fuel filter through here, but for video's sake, we'll do this. I got to step down in here to see this thing. This one's a little easier to get to. Floor out. So, on this one, just like an inline fuel filter, and we have a hose clamp on each side of it that has a hose. We are going to have some fuel spillage here.
So all we have here is two fuel lines. And if you look right here, there's a loop. And you can the, the fuel filter actually resides in that loop right there. So there's a direction right there. You can actually see the arrow and the fuel goes from the tank to the motor. So in so facto, make the arrow go towards the engine. And that is how we exchange both fuel filters in a 07 to 2010 Subaru Aeronautic 210. All the Nautiques are relatively the same. Um, the locations might be in different different spots inside the boat. Uh, if you have any question, questions, give us a call or write in the comments below at N3 Boatworks. 317-845-9253.